Hi everyone, as many of you know, the government of Ontario has reissued the stay at home order. However, real estate is still considered essential. Since March, we've established measures of conducting business virtually whenever possible and safety protocols to ensure everyone's safety during this challenging time. We wanted to update you on some of the more frequently asked questions we've been receiving from our clients over the last few weeks, and we hope you find this information valuable. Here are our top seven frequently asked questions. Number one, what will this new measure do to the housing market? Well, it's really too early to tell. However, we can report that this year has started with tremendous buyer interest and very low inventory, causing multiple bids and significant upward pressure on prices. It's important to note that each area and type of property, condo versus detached, for instance, is reacting differently. Now, we watch the market data closely, and as the wheels progress, we will let you know more. Number two, are houses still selling? And the quick answer is yes. While health and safety remains paramount, health authorities have asked all Ontarians to reduce or eliminate in-person interactions. So we have found many ways to leverage technology to buy and sell properties. Number three, can uh, properties still be viewed? The answer is yes. While showings are still permitted, buyers are encouraged to leverage the virtual tour options made available on listings before they view the property in person. Now, possible alternatives for face-to-face -face showings include using virtual tours, 360 walkthroughs, mobile measurements, and digital floor plans instead of in-person viewings. Number four, are there other services available like home inspection and legal services? And the answer is yes, again. Many of, peop many of the people who provide these services are still working, but also using technology to conduct their business. Home inspections may not be offering in-person services, but are offering virtual walkthroughs of the property. Legal services are available and firms are managing closings on a case-by-case -case basis. Number five, can properties still close? The answer is yes. Along with real estate agent services, the government of Ontario has ruled that land registry service is an essential service, so properties can close as scheduled. Number six, can you sell tenanted properties? Now, tenanted occupied properties have very specific rules. Tenants and landlords have respective rights under the Residential Tenancy Act administered by the landlord and the tenant board. And particular attention must be paid to the tenant's health and safety. Buyers are encouraged to assess their interest through virtual options first. If they remain interested, you can work out a plan to safely view the property. Now, during the state of emergency, there is presently a ban on evictions, which means if you would like a tenant to move out, it would have to be mutually agreed upon. Number seven, what about home renovations? The government has halted all non-essential construction at this time. If you start a construction, however, before January 12th, the stay-at-home order is permitting you to continue. Uh, we hope you found this short update valuable. If you would like us to discuss in detail how many of the above questions affects you, or if you would like to ask us questions about the real estate market, or talk about anything about your personal situation, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to connect with you virtually. In the meantime, you have yourself a wonderful day.